Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Marisa Tejedor Botello. I'm the project manager of the year in transplant child, transplantation in children. And I'm going to present the third annual communication plan from the networking and knowledge management working group. The content of this uh, presentation corresponds to the deliverable presented to the European Commission. And the objective is uh, describing the communication and dissemination activities carried out by the ERN Transplant Cell during this period. And uh, of course, all the activities have followed the general objectives of the strategic communication plan that are to make an effort in the visibility of the network and disseminate the information generated. The Networking and Knowledge Working Group has supported the development of the following activities, taking into account the target public identified in the strategic communication plan. Now I'm going to explain the main activities uh, developed by the, by the ERN. First of all, we are going to explain the common material developed by the ERN, and um, especially the ones focused for patients about ongoing research, frequent asked questions for patients, and about the use of the CPMS in the networks. Also, we have developed e-learning material and a video to promote the cross-link and the cross-work between the networks that are focused on pediatric. Also, we have uh, been updating uh, continuously the website and especially uh, for content for the healthcare providers and professionals, as um, with the new webinars, the clinical protocols that are shared between the, the members, activities uh, of the healthcare providers developed by themselves, and activities of the working groups. Also, uh, in the website, you can find information for patients as the videos developed by the European Commission, but also the material that uh, the own uh, ERN transplant child has been uh, improving. Patients fly on ongoing research, the CPMS for patients, and another with the frequent asked questions for them. We have been also promoting the network in the social media like Twitter account with um, more than 400 followers and more than 160 tweets or retweets. We have also issued a newsletter every month and you can check and they are available in the website. We have been using webinars to share the activities of the network. Actually, we have held 20 webinars uh, with the different working groups in the network and also dedicated for the ERN IT platform, CPMS and ACP, and the registry platform that we are developing. Also, we have uh, held some ones to share uh, joint research opportunities among the network, and a learning webinars with um, these uh, five um, issues and matters that have been uh, performed by, by different members of the network. Also, um, we have uh, different uh, learning sessions on the different stages of the development of the clinical practice guideline. We had 11 media opinions, both in TV and radio. The publications more important for this period has been the cross-cutting view of current challenges in pediatric solid organ and hematopoietic stem cell transplantation in Europe that has been published by Orphanage uh, in Journal on Rare Diseases and the Immunosuppression Clinical Practice Guideline uh, published in Prospero. Different poster and abstract has been submitted and accepted in different congress and events, like the 12 Children's Hospital Immunization Days in Barcelona, the 6th World Congress of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition, the ISQUAs, the 37th International Conference, and the Biennial Congress of the Spanish Transplant Society. 
the actions aimed at patients have been done as follows. It has been really important their participation in the meetings and the workshop. Actually, uh, they have participated in the clinical practice guideline working group, developing and defining the outcomes of the guideline. Also in the networking and knowledge management working group with the meetings of the patient committee, the um, participation in the identification of human capital in the network, and the definition of the content of the guide for patients. Also in the education and training working group, they have uh, participated in the survey of uh, to identify the gap uh, analysis in education and training, and uh, also in the PREMS project, uh, in the first meeting in this project that uh, was held in Padova on the 11th of November. Also, the network has uh, support and participate also and promote activities developed by different uh, patient associations as the ones that uh, you can see in the screen. We have welcomed also this year new patient association to the patient uh, committee, uh, one from, from France and uh, four more from Italy. Their participation in the network is really important and they have been involved in the different activities of the working groups and the PREMS project. Also, we have uh, developed actions aimed at other stakeholders. And in this level, we have been participating in different working groups of the work coordinators. The first one is the research uh, coordinator working group, where the representative in, of Transplant Child has led the registry sub working group. Also, in the IT, advisory group with participation also of the member states. The working group for the monitoring and the definition of the monitoring for the networks. Also in the clinical practice guidelines and knowledge generation. The manager of the hospital La Paz in Madrid has participated in the healthcare providers managers group. Also, we have an active participation in the project managers working group in the help desk of the CPMS created by all the URNs. And um, we have been participating in the several meetings of the URNs coordinators. Other actions aimed at other stakeholders have been the awareness meeting held with different bodies at the European and national level. For instance, the Spanish National Transplant Organization of the Spanish Ministry of Health for the integration of the ERN transplant child in the national health system. Also, we have been talking with different ERNs about the cross-talk in pediatric ERNs to collaborate on PREMS and PRONS projects We held a workshop on organ transplant in children with uh, the presence of other ERN representatives. We presented the, the network to the Child's Free Project Meeting and we participate in the Rare Disease Day event held in Pisa, Italy. These have been the most important activities developed in the ERN transplant child during the last year. We encourage and invite you to send any other activities in which you have participated to the coordination team at the email address you can see in the screen. Thank you very much.